Limeheads. Thanks for checking out another video here at Long Island Music and Entertainment. Doing things a little different. We're going to do a two-part video today. And sitting right next to me, we have Zach. We have McShane from Brand Name Records. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks for having me. No problem. So much for having me. Thanks for giving us your time. Of course. Um, tell us who you are and what your backgrounds are. I'm uh, Zach Levenstein. I'm uh, 23 years old. I'm the CEO and founder of Brand Name Records. Nice. Uh, I have a background in uh, venue operations, guest experience. Um, Were you any good at it? I was pretty good oh, at yeah. it, I think. <laughs> I, maybe you could tell me if yeah, I was I've heard right. rumors that you're pretty decent. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much me. And then, okay. I'm Mike McShane. I have a background mostly in accounting and okay. bookkeeping, as well as like, many facets of live events, including guest services just like that. Nice. Yeah. All right. Now, how did the two of you meet? Uh, yeah. No, we met uh, about five years ago, mm -hmm. uh, working together at the then Nikon <laughs> uh, Jones Beach Theater, now Northwell Health at Jones well, Beach Theater. Uh, I was actually Mike's intern my fr uh, my second year. Yeah. Of my second year there. Yeah. Uh, first year, he was on the guest services team, and I was working in the operations department. Yeah, okay, so he was your intern. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. I was, I was, was he good at getting you coffee in the mornings? Stellar. Stellar, okay. No, just stellar, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. When did you guys start Brand Name Records? What made you go out and uh, start it, you know, starting your own label company? Kind of cool, but risky. So how did it all unfold and come about? We officially incorporated on uh, January 17th, 2020. Okay. I formed the LLC. And... Um, we've always talked about owning our own business, like something within the music industry, since the time we met, practically. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, when I was a freshman in high school, I took a uh, sports and entertainment marketing class. And uh, from there, because I've been a musician my whole life, I've been playing drums since I was about six years old. Cool. Um, so starting, starting then, I've always loved music. And yes. then when I found that you can incorporate music and business together, that's that was just perfect for me. Right. So, now, yeah. Brand Name Records, what does the name mean? How did you come up with that? Brand Name Records is a, uh, a song from the great late Mac Miller off his uh, Good AM album. Um, basically what it means is, quoting from the song, uh, the first verse, the first verse, he would rather, uh, he wouldn't want to work a nine to five, he would rather end up dead or in jail. Right. <laughs> and honestly, that's something I've been saying my whole life. Like, I, I've always wanted to do something like this. It's a mood. It is, honestly. It's such a mood. Um, no, he's just, the lyrics in the song just really speak to how um, you don't need to be affiliated with a brand name. And that, like, Handmade is just as good. Okay. And that's basically what we're trying to do here. Nice. Yeah. Now, um, where, where are you guys based and what other markets are you trying to break into? I'm uh, I'm from Roslyn in Long Island, uh, but I live in Queens now, and I'm from Mixville, still live in there. Okay. Yeah, so um, both of you guys representing the five one six. Give it mm -hmm. up for the five one six. Five one six. Actually, uh, everyone that we're working with is actually from Long Island and Nassau County, which well, is awesome. That's a good thing because here at Lime, Long Island Music and Entertainment, we like to promote just Long Island artists. Absolutely. So if you guys were upstate or Connecticut, we would be sitting here. No, right no, now. Go. no, that's a no go. That's a no go. <laughs> what are your long term goals for the company? Long term, I'm, I'm thinking the sky's the limit, honestly. Uh, I look up to companies like Dreamville and uh, TDE, OVO, Young Money. These are all uh, independent labels that over time grew together as a community and partnered with uh, major labels to get all the connections they need and to get the platform that they need. Awesome. So that's, that's really my goal with this. Right. And some details as well. I think signing two to three artists every year over the next four to five years yeah. is something that yeah, we that'd can be, that'd be a great goal for possible. Us. Absolutely, absolutely. Have you and looked into, you know, more artists already? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're looking at artists all over. Um, we're definitely trying to break into uh, Philadelphia. We're trying to get into Denver, LA. We actually have uh, some long term. Yeah. Long term. Uh, we have someone on our team actually moving to LA, so pretty soon we'll be on both coasts, cool. which would be pretty awesome. That brings me to my next question. Yeah, um, are there any other people on your team besides the two of you? Absolutely, yeah. So right now it's me uh, and Mike. We have our friend Ryan, uh, who 
deals a lot with our radio and promotion. Uh, we have my brother Josh, who's actually filming this interview right now. What's up, Josh? So the thank back you, there. Josh. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we're we're a homegrown team. Uh, we uh, our production team, uh, Altered Reality Sounds. Um, they mainly handle the production, the beats, uh, the mixing, and the mastering for for the artists that we work with. Cool. Yeah. So, one of the artists that we're gonna be sitting with at you guys at Egos. How do you how did you come up with them? How did you find them? Did they find you? Absolutely, that's a very interesting story. Yeah, it's um, a lot of uh, word of mouth, shaking hands. A lot of word of mouth, shaking hands. A lot of Long Island geography. Just knowing people. I like how you said Long Island geography. Of course, on a Long Island website. You know. Of course, <laughs> you know, no, exactly. No, it's it's on crazy. Brand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sticking on brand. Of course. No, um, me and uh, Tom who works uh, for ARS, um, we worked at the Westbury Theater together. Okay. Um, he inter he showed me uh, It Egos, just a couple MP3s, and I was, like, floored yeah. about how just, like, great were they were, the sound that they had, uh, their style. Yeah, you talk about undiscovered talent. Yeah, honestly. You hear, and everybody is a rapper. Everybody has a uh, their own beats and things that they make on the side, so mm -hmm. you hear these things, and you're like, okay, yeah, I'll check it out, and... Uh, we were floored by yeah, Tom and Jimmy's beats. Oh, and, with those yeah, and it the goes there. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. So more more connections. I've known Connor, incidentally, for about six years already. Uh, we met at a Global Citizen concert okay. back back <laughs> in high school, um, and Ryan knows. All those guys uh, in ARS because they all went to five towns together. Okay. Mike knows Ryan from incidentally from work, another venue working at a different at. venue. So you guys knew each other before you knew each other. Yeah, really. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, before we knew that we were all involved in uh, on the ground floor of certain areas of this business. Exactly. We just yeah. met by happening. So we were really doing the same things, uh, just two different aspects of it. And we really just combined everything just to make one cohesive unit, you know? All right. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell us about Brand Name Records? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. online, point. social media, where can we find you guys? Absolutely. You can find us at Brand Name Records on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we have a website, brandnamerecords.com. Okay. Um, we will be posting a bunch of stuff in the future. We've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Cool. And we can't wait to see it. Absolutely. And it's Brand Name Records. It's not big name records or brand new records. No, no, brand, brand name records. Brand new records. Don't get it confused. And Zach McShane, thanks for uh, taking time out, talking with us here at Long Island Music Entertainment. Congratulations on five years. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, thanks for guys. Thanks for uh, joining us. Thanks so much. Thanks. What's up, Limeheads? Welcome back to part two of the video. Part one, we had the guys behind the scenes. Now we have the guys on the scenes. The, guy that, the guys that make the magic happen. We have Alex, we have Connor, and Ego. What's, What's up, going guys? on, guys? Mm -hmm. How you doing, live bands? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how did the two of you meet? Uh, we actually met in college. Um, we were, you know, just like finding our bearings. It was the first couple of weeks. This was my second time back in college. It was his first time. Yeah. So like, we were able to help each other and like, guide each other through the process. Yes. I was the one film kid hanging out with all the music kids. <laughs> 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 kind of mesh well that way. Yeah, now how long have you guys known each other? About five years. We met uh, freshman year of college. 2015. 2015. Wow. Yeah. I remember you were rapping for a long time and I didn't want to tell anybody I was doing it because I was like still kind of getting into my groove freshman year. And I remember he like heard me like just goof around and he said like this uh, is nah, I told him I was like yo <laughs> you need to rap. Like he was just so, freestyling and like uh, when he freestyles like he doesn't put words to it it's more of like it's more necessarily like flows, kind of like Tech Nine does, where he has like a little dictaphone and he just like spits flows into it, and, and like he just hears that. that. Words, and I was yeah. like, yo, like if you yeah. just went back and listened to it and like you put words into that, he'd be where he so is I'm now. Been that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> now on the record, how was Alex as a rapper? Is he any good? Amazing, amazing. amazing. He's my whole inspiration. He wouldn't be sitting here if he wasn't an amazing exactly. rapper, right? Exactly. Yeah, he's the reason I'm sitting right here. <laughs> so, how long have you guys been doing music? Um, I've been doing music my whole life. I started when I was about five. Um, but I started taking like rap and hip hop seriously about eight years ago, almost nine years ago. Yeah, any influences during that time? Um, definitely, uh, my big, my four biggest are Lil Wayne, Eminem, Tech Nine, and Drake. 
Okay. So those are like who have helped me find myself personally. Nice. Who are your influences? So, I mean, I kind of grew up not really on rap. I was on like more pop punk, rebellious kind of music, and like I was totally in a different world. And then when I came to college, I met all these like new kinds of people, and <laughs> it totally just switched my mood okay. for music. And I started getting into Mac Miller. And I think he's the GOAT to this day. Rest in peace of a legend. But, yeah, we, we just had yeah. Zach and uh, McShane on, and he said Mac Miller's big influence of why you guys are here. So that's exactly. pretty cool. Yeah. It's crazy that Mac Miller is literally the reason why we're all here right now. Right. Because yeah. me and him actually, I actually didn't like Mac Miller growing up, but then he showed me good AM, yeah. and like we were bumping in his car, and like that's what made us become such good friends. And then when Zach hit us up, we saw Brand Name Records, and I instantly realized it was a Mac Miller reference. So I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to hear what this guy had to say. <laughs> now, how has music impl impacted or influenced your life growing up? Um, so my mom actually almost signed to Motown when she was in college. Oh, yeah, she was she was singing in Syracuse at like a bar, and like she decided to get her legal degree and like become a lawyer and have a family and like maybe pursue music after. So like she never had that chance. So I feel like it's like my job to get us there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You want to add on to that? Um, I mean, it definitely just like depending on what mood I was in. I wanted to go towards that music, so I mean, before I got my heart broken, I was listening to rebellious music, <laughs> thinking I, you know, own the world. Got my heart broke, and trap became like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mood. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. How was how was your life growing up? Uh, where did you, where did you guys grow up? Uh, I'm from Limburg originally. Yeah. Um, I was born in Elmont, but my mom moved us to Limburg um, because she had like kind of a rough childhood growing up. She was in Queens, and she didn't want the same lives for us necessarily so she moved us to like a good neighborhood with like a really good school system so that we can get educated and get like a better start for ourselves. Yeah, no, that's nice. That's nice. I, like yeah. that. I grew up in uh, Seaford and I've pretty much been there up until right here in the yeah. farm and now. Yeah, so, so not that far. Yeah. 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 Jump. Sure. <laughs> All right, um, any new releases from you guys? I mean we're working on this one now about the street name Second Tide. Yep. <laughs> and just uh, did a quick little video. Yeah, That's we awesome. have a couple of videos coming out. Yeah. Um, we do have a couple of releases coming out. Thanks. Uh, shout out to Jimmy ARS. Yeah. He's the one who really, he's like the glue that holds us together. So we've been working on putting out, like, uh, like setting up our next six months, like our schedule, so we could, like, plan out our releases, get, like, the promos and everything. Right. So Connor's got one coming out next month called uh, Radio Phone. Radio Phone's yeah. coming soon. So you guys are acting fast. I mean, you're yeah. new to the scene and uh, videos, releases, yeah. all. Well, we actually months. started August 1st, for yeah. real, and it's been about six months, six and a half months, and we got like 55 songs. Just been songs. grinding as hard as we can. Yeah. 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 So just working hard. All right. Um, what are your songs about? <laughs> you, know, you have to go over <laughs> oh, yeah. 55, yeah. you know, yeah. two or three, you know, what, what's the major theme behind um, the songs? The you um, so we, we're called ARS, which is Altered Reality Sounds, so we like to kind of, we say like we... We make each song its own little universe, like it's got its own little homeostasis. So each song is completely different than yeah. the next song, you know. Yeah. So like it's we try to, like, and like we right? both have, <laughs> we both have backgrounds acting before we started doing music. So like yeah. we put on different characters, we put on like whole different scenarios. Like it's crazy. Like right? you should definitely check definitely it out. Definitely want to turn it into something visual at some point. So yeah. we could combine, you know, film and music and all of our talents and mesh together right. to make something unique and different that yeah. stands out. Now your name, It Egos, yeah. what's that all about and how do you represent that? Um, well, it started with Connor, actually. Yeah, I had an album coming out just on my own after making stuff on my phone all the time. I wanted to just put all the tracks together and call it Egos, different versions of myself. And he had like 20 songs. A bunch, yeah. And yeah. I had like 20 songs set too, so we were like, yo, what if we did like a joint album and we can call it Ed and Egos, like Sigmund Freud said, like the subconscious right. and the conscious mind. And then we, we were just going to do a joint album at the time, and then Jimmy came into it and he's like, yo, what if you guys did like a group? And like you just made it like a whole brand, like it egos, you know? So I'm just born right there. Literally yeah. just, it just exploded from nothing. Yeah. So it's a crazy. beautiful thing we've been working on. Yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Sigma Fred. <laughs> Fake tears dripping through the past life Rapping in the Morse code Flying up the half pipe I never figure out if I'm bound to scrap right We're Searching for the difference Why we say it's alright I can smell a hypocrite like they smoke